Temperature towers are very important when it comes to making sure your filament is printing at the right temperature so your prints come out great. So today, I'm going to show you two simple ways on how to print a temperature tower. Hey everybody, my name is Vijay and welcome to SandTube, your best resource for all things 3D printing related. From how-to videos, troubleshooting, product reviews, tutorials, and many more. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and feel free to subscribe. And with that, we're going to go and jump into our video today. So we're going to be talking about temperature towers. Uh, why are these important? Anytime you get a new roll of filament, or if you would like to see if your printer's printing at the right temperature, I highly recommend that you do this. So I'm going to show you two ways of printing this temperature tower. The first one is super easy. We're just going to go online, download the G-code, insert it into our 3D printer, and just let it start. The second way, we're actually going to import the STL file into a slicing software, which we're going to be using Cura today, and we're going to tell it at what, at what layer height we want the temperature to change, giving you this result here. So let's get started. So by far, this is the easiest and quickest way that I know of that you can print a temperature tower. If you're very new to the, to the 3D printing industry, I would definitely recommend that you go this route. So what you want to do is open up Thingiverse, type in temp tower. Once you do that, you'll see the results, the very first one here. Click on it. Uh, don't download all files because you're not going to use all of that unless you're trying to test like PETG or ABS, which I'll show you in a minute. This is going to be for the second way, but since we're here, go ahead and download it anyways. It's the PLA temperature tower. So click on that. And this is where we're going to manually edit everything. But for the easy way that we're going to do today, you want to download PLA temperature tower G code. Okay, so there you go. Now, just a word of advice, guys, on this one. If uh, your printer has a smaller build surface than 150 by 150, I highly recommend that you do it the second way, not the first way, which we're doing right now. So once you download this, you want to go ahead and just go into your downloads like so you got your STL and your G code it's already in the G code format so you don't have to do anything just go and open up your SD card and drag that in there it's that simple now we're gonna go and head over to our 3D printer then you bring the card over to your printer for this one I'm gonna use the Anycubic i3 and then you just go down and select the tower just hit print and let that get going. So the original G code, if you don't modify anything at all and just copy it and straight put it in your printer, uh, the diameters of printing on that one would be similar to the any cubic or like the Ender 3. So imagine this being the surface size uh, of the G code that's currently there. So the center of this would be right there. Now, if you take that same G code and put it on something larger like the CR10 here, if you notice the center now will be here so this is where it's gonna print so if it does that don't freak out it's not gonna be in the center just because of the diameter set by the G code so that should still give you the same results now do the second way is still fairly easy just um, takes a little bit longer so the first thing you want to do is go and import that STL file that we had downloaded from Thingiverse once you do that go ahead and switch to layer view and once you do that, what we're trying to find out is basically at what layer does the temperature change. So here I would probably recommend getting like a piece of paper or and a pen just to write everything down. So basically the way it's going to work is from layer 1 all the way up to about layer 44, um, you want it to print at 210. So the first layer here is going to be what we set on the right hand side so I like to do layer height uh, 0.2 and then as far as the temperature I'm just going to go ahead and go down and change it to 210 right here so basically the printer is going to start printing at 210 so now what we need to do is tell it from layer 44 to about 90 we want to print at 205 and then when it gets to layer 90 we want to change it to 200 until it hits about 129 
and then starting at layer 129 we want to go up to um, 195 and then so on and so forth so what you're gonna write down here is basically where does it change from 210 to 205 roughly around 42 43 so you're gonna write down layer 43 you want it to change to 205 the next one you're gonna go here so about layer 89 or 90 you want it to change to 200 and then it's gonna print that at 200 and then when you get to about 129 right about here once it gets here you want the print you want to tell the printer to start printing everything above that at 195 so it's going to print 195 all the way until it gets to 181 and then the new one starts and then from here you want to give it the command to print when 190 temperature and then so on and so forth so from here is going to be 190 then when it gets here 185 when it gets here it's going to print 180 and then from here it's going to print 175 and when it gets to this layer it's going to print 170 finishing it all up so how do you do that it's very simple guys what you're going to do is you're going to go to extensions here you're going to go to post processing modify g code and you're going to go ahead and add a script you're going to add change add z 5.1.1 once you click on that you're basically going, going to add a script so you want to instead of going height you want to change at layer number and now these are the numbers that I told you to write down now what layer number does it change roughly so here we're gonna do my first one which was 44 at layer 44 I want extruder 1 temperature to change to 205 <clears throat> okay then you're going to add another one and again you're going to repeat the same process at layer at layer number 90 I want it to start changing the temperature to 200 okay and then we're going to do the next one again same thing layer number and this one's going to be 129 Starting at layer 129, I want the temperature to start printing at 195. Then we're going to add another one. Same thing again. Layer number. And here at layer 181, I want it to print, start printing at 190. And you're just going to keep adding it on and on and on until you get to the 170 so basically if you look at my first one at layer 44 my temperature is going to change to 205 and then it's going to keep printing at 205 until it gets to 90 at layer 90 it's going to drop down to 200 and then once it reaches layer 129 it's going to change the temperature to 195 and it's going to keep printing at 125 until it gets to layer number 181 then the temperature will drop to 190 and then so on and so forth so we're just going to enter all these in so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and then uh, we'll go ahead and get it printed out and this is going to be our last one which is going to be 362 layer height I want the temperature to change to 170 and after that we are completely done so you just want to go back and double check everything. So in order, from top to bottom, you're at 70, 75, 80, 85, and I'm looking at this temperature right here. Next is 90, 95, 200, 205, and then the 210 is our original command to print. Okay, and that's it. So now you're all done. All you got to do is just save to file. And you can name it whatever you want. Uh, if you want to name it, just make sure the dot G code stays the same. Just call it Temp Tower. And just hit save. Transport it onto a SD card. And let's take it to the printer. All right, so now we have our temperature tower printed out. Now, what to look for when we're actually looking at it? The very basic thing, of course, what the tower is meant for is that what temperature is your 
PLA best giving you the best results. So as you can see here, between 210 and 200 is where I'm getting the best results. Okay, now that gives me about a 10 degree where uh, it prints perfectly fine. So along with that, there's a few other things you can actually notice just from looking at this. If you notice, right around 215 is when my stringing starts. So as the higher I go on temperature, uh, the more stringing I get here. So I definitely don't want to print more than 210 because at 215 is where I start having problems like there, 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 and it gets really bad as we go lower. Um, at 190 to 195, if you notice, I'm getting more clumps at the end, so that's not a good sign either. Now between 210 and 220, I'm getting the best result. My numbers are coming out cleaner, and I'm not getting any kind of an issue. Uh, another thing you can look at, so even though you can print perfectly with this PLA between 200 and 210, another thing you want to notice is at what temperature do you get really nice details? So right around this curve, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but at 205 is where I get the best edging and it gives me the best quality. So if you notice from this angle as well, right there, that's the temperature that gives me the best. Now you can print between 200 and 210, but 205 is what's going to be best. So when you print one of these guys, don't just pay attention to the temperature. Look at, at what settings uh, or what, what temperature does your stringing start and between what temperature do you get the best curvature or uh, the best quality as far as squares and, and rounding and things like that. All right, guys, there you go. Two very simple ways to print a temperature tower and what to look for once it's actually printed. Uh, I'll put all the links to this video down in uh, the description, so I'll show you exactly where to go download this from, from Thingiverse. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, you know what? Give it a down. It is what it is. If you're new to the channel, go and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, guys, which would be very appreciated, uh, I'll put some links down below as well. And with that all said, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.